Well, in less than three weeks, construction is due to begin on again trying to improve the interchange at I-25 and Arapahoe Road on the south side of town. If you're one of the people who drives through there every day, you know how congested it already is, and it's only getting worse. CBS 4's Howard Nathan live at Arapahoe and I-25. So, Howard, what does CDOT have planned to fix the flow? Jim, look behind me. That's the off-ramp for I-25 South going this way. That's east on Arapahoe Road. So instead of the two lanes we have right now, CDOT wants three lanes veering you or leading you over to Arapahoe Road. CDOT says right over here, it's a nightmare. If traffic is cutting through a residential neighborhood to avoid a major road like Arapahoe, then it's time to make improvements. Oh, yes. I remember when Arapahoe Road was, uh, you know, a road that people traveled for fun. Not and, now. And not now. The growing traffic on Arapahoe means the state will spend $66 million on I-25 in Arapahoe. What does that mean to you? Well, on Interstate 25, you're going to have uh, significant lane shifts through the area. So if you're traveling I-25, you're going to find reduced speed limits. In 2005, CDOT says an average of 201,000 vehicles traveled north and south on I-25 at Arapahoe Road. But now the volume number is 323,000, with well over 100,000 getting off onto Arapahoe every day. CDOT is banking on improvements to the I-25 off-ramps to help prevent backups. We're going to add turn lanes at the bottom of the ramps to head uh, eastbound on Arapahoe Road. So right now there's two turn lanes, there'll be a third turn lane. Also, the southbound off-ramp will be extended. Removing these bridge pillars on Arapahoe might also help. And that'll remove a lot of that visual clutter that can create safety issues for people. But will CDOT need to be making more road improvements 10 years from now? I mean, right now, I don't know if there is a guesstimate of how, how long these improvements will help out. Now up that way we can see a set of train tracks. Trains are coming every two minutes. Now, if you don't like the travel to and from Denver on I-25, don't expect any widening. They will not add more lanes. CDOT says there is no room to add more lanes. So then you can always take the train. Reporting live in Centennial, Howard Nathan, CBS4 News.